The biggest selling type of car in the USA is the four cab pickup, but it's never caught on in this country. Well, just maybe the next car in our class of 98 selection will change that. At least that's the hope of Mitsubishi, because they'll want their L200 Four Life four cab pickup to catch on in the UK. Well, guess who's been for a drive? Howdy. The American market loves pickups. They buy them in their millions. It's the standard car over there. But their American tastes have never quite been European tastes. For instance, the Americans also like brightly coloured golfing trousers and incredibly large thighs. So their tastes will never necessarily coincide exactly with ours. So it's a brave move to try and introduce the market with something really very new indeed that we're not used to. 50% of those pickups sold in America are the four cab derivatives and versions like this. So it does make sense if you are trying to educate the market to bring in something that has perhaps a little more practicality than an ordinary two-seater pickup ever would. Having said that, the practicality is pretty limited. Four-seater it might be, but if you've got four people or even, as all the booklets say, possibly five, I don't know where you're going to put the luggage. There is only one luggage space and I'm standing in it. And if it were raining, I'd be getting wet. And if I were left overnight in it, I'd be stolen and all my serial numbers scratched off. Therefore, it's never going to be as practical as a four before, an ordinary one that we already know. And at 20,000 pounds more for this, with all the flashy chrome bits on, that's an awful lot of money. You could buy an awful lot of four before for that. No, primarily this car is about one thing and one thing only, image. It's about looking good. It is definitely more surfs up than mud plugging. Capable off-roader it may be, but at the end of the day, it's going to spend more time mounting the curbs outside the wine bars than ever it is tramping up and down over hill and dale. Basically, it's a macho feel-good thing. 